Hey, welcome back to another survival craft episode. Last episode, we discovered that there's only two dragon eggs. So, well, two dragon eggs in bedrock, which is weird compared to the one that can spawn in uh, Java. So, that was a bit weird. Uh, we're going to try and double our land claim up here. So, I guess I'll go in a super quick time lapse mode of me building three of these layers. Okay, we're back, and we have doubled our front yard. Okay, zombie. That was weird. It's nighttime currently, which is not fun, because creepers will blow this place up. I'm not careful, so... This is the... And this is where our layers start that we made. Uh, anyway, that was paying close enough attention, but I have realized that layer... First layer was not in the time lapse. Yeah, my recording software decided it was glitching out on me there, so... That was fun. Uh, don't know what we'll do in the next episode, but we got a lot of this done. I need, I'm waiting for it to become day, so I can do a fly around and see how it looks in the morning. It's close to being day. Uh, the Intermens shouldn't be able to brief anything. At some point, I do need to stick lights in here because I can't have this many mobs spawning, especially when they're this kind that like to blow up. I need to get mending on my bow and start carrying arrows around so I can not worry about having to make infinite bows. Which is more annoying. I don't think it dropped anything of value yet, no. And remove the creeper. And let's fly and see how this looks. We're four layers from being level with this to make the roaring river splash. Uh, whatchamacallit that we need. And there we go. Looking great. And for anyone that can't see, this is going to go that way, and this one's going to go more this way. And once we get the river in, we can actually get this com more uh, more situated. Uh, at some point, I will have to work on figuring out the design for the back of this, because I, I think I've shown this off very, very little. But um, I am definitely green style. The back always looks worse than it should. But I have an entire plan set up for that. I just need first get everything else situated before I can start that, so. This is actually looking quite amazing. We land at the very bottom. Can't really see the front door, but it looks good. Slowly we build up to here and get to the front door. And then we look back. And at some point, we'll see the... I don't actually know if we'll be able to see the lake. We'll have to wait and see. I think this is 10 layers above uh, that, so... And our patio definitely will be able to see the lake, because I can see the bottom there, so... Yeah, next episode, truly have no clue what we're going to do, but we might find something. We'll find something to do. We always do. I mean, this still needs its decorations, so we could do that. Where's the skeleton? That was weird. We might work on adding in the elevators because I can then remove all the scaffolding that I have on the outside of this place and stick the floor in here. We might do that. Grab the floor in here is going to be as expensive as everything else they do. Because I don't actually think I got... Let's go check how much birch I have. I need birch to make the, that floor in there, so... Blend it off once we see that. 
Uh, we're running low on cactus dye and uh, wool, which is expected. I got enough sand and gravel to go and do the next four layers, I believe. The other stuff that's going to be the problem. Okay, if we go and... It's not that one, it's this one. Yeah, we got no birch. I, okay, I don't have sapling then. We might need to set up... Actually, yeah, I'd have to set up the farm again. I have one sapling? What? I might have to go find a birch forest and might have to chop it down. We might do that next episode. So, uh, leave a like if you enjoyed. Consider subscribing and turning on notifications to know every time I upload. And next episode, we'll be working on getting the top floor even more situated. So I'll see you all then.